Hi, it's Shantae and welcome to Sewing for My Sanity. Come on in, let's check out my studio. So let's talk about fabrics. Fabric is where it all starts for me. Touching fabric, feeling fabric, tugging at fabric. And so I've put all my fabric into this bookcase. Usually I organize the fabrics by type. So cottons are gonna go together, sequins are gonna go together, knits are gonna go together. And then generally I organize them by color or color scheme to make it easier for me when I'm looking for something. I tend to put solids together and prints together so that if I'm looking for a lining or some other accent to a dress or pants or jacket, it's already there for me. So one of the first machines I got was a Baby Lock Crescendo. It was absolutely a game changer because it was the first machine that I got that could sew through like five layers of fleece. Five layers of fleece. And it would thread itself. Most machines don't thread themselves. You're like working with the needle and doing all this kind of crazy stuff, but it threads itself. So after I got the Crescendo, I think I was hooked. And then I bought the Unity. The Unity and the Crescendo are a lot alike. The only difference is that the Unity does embroidery. I'm not really into embroidery yet, but it does come in handy if you want to embroider towels or a canvas bag or something like that. It also threads itself and it also tells you when the bobbin's empty. Really super important. And of course, I had to get a serger. Now I bought the Ovation before the Triumph came out. The Triumph, every single um, needle is gonna get threaded. On this machine, the O1 and O2 and cover lock machine are going to need to be hand threaded, but that's really not that big of a deal because you know, the one that always gets messed up is your upper and your lower and the tension is already set for you here. You want your work to look as professional as possible and so you want to finish your edges. Finishing your edges says, I am not a novice, I am good at this. So I love this machine. I wouldn't trade it for anything except for the Triumph, but since I have the Ovation, I'm just gonna roll with it, it works great. And no studio would be complete without your pattern stash. Okay, we all have a pattern stash. You know, sometimes it's ridiculous. Mine rests in an Ikea drawer. This is the mom drawer. I bought it from Ikea. I just put three rows of patterns in there and actually they are organized by number. So this is Simplicity 2295, et cetera, et cetera. The problem is that I have too many patterns and it still overflows, but this is a good idea if you're just starting out. The only patterns that won't fit in there are your Vogue patterns. Remember, Vogue patterns are retarded. No, I'm just kidding. Vogue patterns are big, and so they just don't fit in those envelopes. So you can get, um, I think this is like a $10 crate that I got from Target. You can just stick them in there and then organize them by number, just like you would in your pattern stash. Ta-da! Yes, washer and dryer in the studio. Now, this house just happened to come that way but it ended up being a benefit for sewing. You always need to pre-wash your fabrics. There are a few fabrics I'm not gonna pre-wash, but when you're sewing and you've gotta go up and down the steps or you have to go to the laundromat or you have to do some other task, it's a little bit cumbersome. If you can put some sort of wash dry situation in your studio, that would be great. So you want everything in your studio on wheels. Lots of homes now have laminate or tile or some kind of flat surface and you want to wheelie just about everything. Why? Okay, watch this. If I'm sewing, right, and I have my material here, then I can go ahead and close my seam and then I can finish my seam seamlessly. No pun intended, no pun intended, okay? The other part to that is if I want to move my ironing station here, I can simply get up press the seam and continue to work. What you don't want to do is have a lot of movement, right? Because that makes your sewing inefficient. So as many things as you can put on wheels or put close to you, you're going to make your sewing more efficient. Now get out so I can sew. <laughs> 